All right, we're back with more Geo Gasser. Okay, we're doing safety wheels off, no seatbelt, butts to the wall. We're playing the world. Don't expect great turnout. <laughs> God, we're in the middle of nowhere already. All right. <sighs> okay, this looks like a, a wet farm. Is that, is that how rice grows? Is this a rice field? It kind of looks like the way that they grow rice. Um, big valley sort of deal going on. Um, let's go to this bridge. Look at that bridge. Um, what about these buildings in the distance? These buildings look western maybe what is this signage can't read it right um this looks like um sort of the stereotypical images you'll see of like chinese or japanese countrysides you know, with the like the rolling fields and the big valleys and the separated uh, places, but I'm not gonna s commit to that just yet. This could be Asian looking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking with those, uh, with the roof tiles. Looks kind of like Asian architecture. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, here we go. Um, this is where I have some knowledge, but I still struggle a little bit. Just the differences between the appearances of the written, uh, East Asian languages. I'm th thinking it's probably more Chinese, mm, Japanese. Ooh, it, it's a tough one because Japanese takes a lot of Chinese characters, and they can look quite similar sometimes. Um, I have to keep looking. Thinking more Japanese. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, I don't know. Ooh, boy. Oh, God. Maybe, I'm thinking probably China. Probably China somewhere. I know Japan does have a lot of hills and mountains and stuff, but I don't know. This is feeling more China to me. Just for some reason. <clears throat> and I, I'm leaning more towards that the language was Chinese. Uh, Cantonese, whatever it is, Mandarin. I don't know the differences, honestly. I'm not an expert in world languages. Nope. Japanese. It's got the smiley face. It's Japanese. Bam. Smiley face equals Japanese. Cool. So we're in Japan. Somewhere. Oh, and, well, I'm definitely not going to be able to glean any place names off of this because I can't read Japanese. Sure, we're just going to put it down out in the country somewhere. Though, again... I'm not an expert on, on places like this, so I'm just going to have to assume what the country is. Somewhere probably green, right? So like out in the country, you like, Oguni. Kanazawa. All right. Well, I got the right country. I got Japan, eventually. 
with a lot of mental strain and thinking. I had to find that smiley face. I was thinking that in my head, like, if I find the smiley face, then I know it's Japanese. <laughs> Palm. Ooh, South America? That's my initial guess. I'm thinking South America somewhere. With these roof tiles. And the big mountains, hills, and vegetated valleys. I think in South America somewhere. Or Central America. Out in the middle of nowhere again, though, so it's... It's a toughie. But with these mountains... Where's known for their mountains in South Peru, um, Argentina, Brazil probably has a lot of mountains, but is that a water tower? No. Oh. Um, I wish I knew the like the the direction of the sun trick that people use to know like what hemisphere we're in because I don't know that. To say anything. Ha! It's Brazil. We're in Brazil. They speak in Portuguese. We's in Brazil, boys. All right. And that's probably the best that I'm going to do, unless there's a town up here. Is this a town? No, it looks like a plant. I'm just going to go into Brazil somewhere because we know it's Brazil. Though Brazil's big. Right there. Hey, not too far. I was thinking of going to Sao Paulo, but I ended up not. Okay. It's these languages. The languages are helping me. Because I, I can recognize a few languages just by the way they look a lot of the times. Not necessarily even being able to read it. Because I can't read most foreign languages, but... Home inspections, 270. We're somewhere speaking English. Driving on the right. Is this America? That looked like an American phone number, but I don't know what Canadian phone numbers look like. So it could very well be Canada. This looks like an American speed sign, but again, I don't know if Canadian speed signs look the same or not. Any flags in this bougie neighborhood? Not that I can see. And I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you where in the US and or Canada this would be based on the environment. We're definitely somewhere richer. <laughs> Big houses, lots of open land. Pools and trampolines in the backyard. Mmm. Bougie. <laughs> and we're out in the middle of nowhere again. Oh, there's an opening up at the end of this road. Is this a crop field? It's definitely not a crop field. That's a nice, nice, nice house. Lots of land. The Pendleys. Okay, we're gonna go out to this opening that's out here. Maybe there's something to be seen. I'm thinking it's probably America. These roads look exactly the same as America. That speed sign looks exactly the same as America. And I would assume that Canada would probably have some differences that I would be able to pick out. But everything looks exactly like American roads do. So. We're out in farmland. Nice and flat, open skies. 
So probably like the the mid Midwest somewhere. Is that corn? I think corn. It might be corn. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm thinking like the Midwest somewhere. Or I should say the middle of the country because I know that if I say the Midwest and I don't pick a Midwest town, people might get upset with me. Um, I don't, Kansas. Kansas is flat, right? It was Kentucky. Queensboro, Kentucky. Well, all right. Never mind. <laughs> it's not the Midwest. Okay. Where are we at? This is looking European. Holongan good. What's that flag? What's that flag? Show me that flag. It is Norway. That a Norwegian flag. It's the Norwegian flag colors in like one of the stripes, but it's it's not. It's like half the cross, just kind of stretched out of the Norwegian flag. Does that mean anything? Is that just a Norwegian flag in a different form? I don't know. Or is it a completely different country's flag? Let's keep a look in. Out in the middle of nowhere again, basically. Farmland. It's uh, like a small, narrow road. With these dashes on either side. I don't know where that... I think that's a Scandinavian thing. I'm thinking Norway. It looks quite lush. As Norway is. And so go to this place and see if there's any more hints. Sorry. <laughs> I do that when I'm thinking. <laughs> I make weird noise when I'm concentrating. Kick, 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 kick. I'm, th I'm thinking Norway. I've never been to Norway, obviously, but um. This kind of is like the image that I would have in my head of like the Scandinavian wilderness. Wilderness. And that flag had the Norwegian colors. And like it, it looked like they took the cross, took just like one strip of the cross and just like extended it. Because it was the same like layering of colors, I'm pretty sure, as the Norwegian flag. So I'm going to say Norway somewhere. And, again, I'm not trying to get, like, perfect. I'm more just looking for countries. If I get into the, in the right country or the general area, I'm pretty happy. It's in Norway. Yep. Look at there. Okay. Nick. <gasps> A city! Thank goodness. West Side Story. Is this New York? Are we straight up on Broadway? We straight up just on Broadway? Mmm, no. I don't recognize this building. See, New York is a place that I've actually been before. I haven't been to many places, but I've been to New York City. And we did go to, to Broadway while we were there. I'm not sure that that's what this is, though. Because of that. Because I don't recognize this building, and it doesn't look like something they build in New York. Um, driving on the right, this doesn't look familiar. Are we looking at Canada, maybe? Like Montreal? No, Montreal would have French everywhere. This place doesn't have French everywhere. Um, it's so like Toronto. Vancouver. Are we in the cube, dude? 
The cube's got a space needle. What this? Elephant and castle? Washington Federal. Garage temporarily full. That's the motif. <laughs> Fifth Avenue. Okay. Yeah, these crosswalks don't look like American crosswalks do. Definitely not. So I'm thinking we might not be in America, but these signs look pretty American. U.S. Bank Center. We're in America somewhere. Okay. So could it just be New York and I'm just dumb? Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't look like New York. But then again, we only went to a very small portion of Manhattan while we were there. Doritos! Buenos dias, Doritos. Okay. Carhartt. What's up with all the writing on the roads? I've seen that all over the place. Bank of America. Okay, so we are definitely in America. Somewhere. A big city in America. So Boston. Um, Chicago. New York. Problem is... I'm no expert on the skylines of our big cities. If I could look up and see like a recognizable landmark, I don't think it's New York because that one building threw me off. Century Square. I've heard of that. And I don't think it's in New York, but I don't know where it is. City Bikes? Play in the park. Okay, okay. This is kind of looking like a place in Atlanta that I went to once. But I don't think it's Atlanta. It doesn't look familiar to be Atlanta. Starbucks. Emperor Crombie and Fitch. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Where is this car going? Which way is the Google car facing? That way? Alright. Giorgio Armani. So Wells Fargo. <gasps> that bus. That bus might have clues. Uh... No. It did not. There's a license plates, but I don't recognize the general shape and color of things at buffalo wild wings <laughs> um this looks like a like an official building it's a macy's never mind <laughs> it's a big old macy's mm. this like triangular style of building is interesting. I don't know if that's particular to any sort of city. I know they have in New York and like San Francisco, they have buildings like that. Um, but again, I don't know if those are like exclusive to anywhere particular. So we're gonna have to keep looking. It's crazy how this city is the most confounding one. Right? Because I was getting just dumped in the middle of nowhere for those past ones, and I was figuring out at least the countries. But now we're in an American city, and suddenly it's difficult. <laughs> okay. Ooh, a theater. A theater. More hotel.
What is that? Swifty painting. Hmm. Hmm. Virginia Street. <sighs> Got some weird looking buildings around. Oh, that's nice. Nice mural on the wall there. Man. Concerts. Nope, they didn't say anything about the city. Oh, King County. Martin Luther King. King County Metro. Oh, I don't know what city is in King County, though. It's not Atlanta. Because Atlanta is in Gwinnett County. So we're not in Georgia. In Georgia. Bobby Wagner Beacons Quality Control MVP. 1-800-FREAKING! <laughs> okay. Um, King County. So, probably the Moore Theater. We're probably looking somewhere with Um, sort of a, a history with civil rights stuff, maybe. If the county was named after Martin Luther King Jr. Mm. Though, then again, any... They have cable cars. What I was saying, anywhere could have a county named Martin Luther King Jr., and that would be reasonable, no matter where. This might be San Francisco. The cable cars, this very steep hill, leading to what looks like a bay. Huh? That triangular building back there. This is looking like it might be San Francisco. Ooh, Watch Dogs 2, give me strength. <laughs> In hopes that I'm right. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a pretty good guess. As good a guess as any. San Francisco. Right. <clears throat> Somewhere. By the bay, not the ocean, the bay. So, like, I guess just like here. Was it? Okay. Okay. It's in Washington. <laughs> Seattle. <laughs> right. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Watch Dogs 2 failed me. Why, Marcus? Ugh. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's look at the summary. See how I did. Not great, probably. I got Brazil. And I got Japan. This one wasn't great. That one wasn't great. This one was good. I got Norway. So, funny how... <laughs> It was the American ones that I did the worst at. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. See you around.